and welcome back to another video. My name is Courtney. If you don't know me already, welcome to the channel. So we're checking out why the A10 Warthog is totally invincible. I got this video recommendation from my Discord server. So thank you so much to everyone who leaves recommendations in the Discord server. If you haven't joined the Discord server, by the way, you can join down below in the invite link. Would love to have you on there. So yeah, we're checking out the video today. Let me know what you guys think. This is by Infographic Shows. So this is a really good channel if you are looking to learn about various topics in a really well presented way so this is why I love this channel because it's really condensed it's really well done yeah I highly recommend going over to check the channel if you haven't heard of them already I'm sure you have honestly they're a really really big channel yeah they've got 11.9 million subscribers let's get them to 12 million you guys one by one all right let's get into the video let me know what you guys think down below and if you've got anything to add please leave a comment down below and let's do it November 1983 Soviet T-74 roll across the Fulda Gap into West Germany. The West German army is retreating and nothing seems to be able to stop the full might of Warsaw Pact's tank brigades. Suddenly the sky is filled with the roar of jet engines and the buzz of a 30mm Gatling gun as the A-10 Warthog lays waste to the almost unstoppable T-74s. What if Damn. there was a virtually invincible plane that also could decimate tanks, armored well, vehicles, and troops in a single flyby? What if pigs could fly? Is that legit? Well, there is a pig that flies. Technically, it's known as a warthog, and it's one of the most powerful planes in the United States military arsenal. Officially called the A-10 Thunderbolt, oh, the A-10 Thunderbolt is also known as the Tank Buster, an almost invincible plane designed to destroy ground targets with exceptional precision. The A-10 Thunderbolt is considered a flying gun, and is one of those planes that when you need it, you want it, Dude, and when the you don't need it, you still wish you had it. The plane it's most feared by tankers around the world has been in operation for decades and is the most survivable, versatile aircraft to take to the sky, popular with pilots because of its power and ability to defeat Dude. the enemy through massive destruction like and direct fire air-to-ground bombardment. Or First introduced in 1977 to the United States Air Force, the A-10 Thunderbolt was put into the role of Close Air Support, or CAS. It's been instrumental in several American conflicts, including Grenada, the Balkans, Afghanistan, Iraq, and the fight against the Islamic State in the Middle East during the War on Terror. The mission of the A-10 is to decimate tanks, armored vehicles, and installations in support of enemy ops. It's suitable for makeshift environments with short or even improvised landing strips due to its short landing capability and oversized before. rugged wheels and reinforced Jet, landing gear plane, assembly. Aircraft. This makes it the premier choice for frontline combat, though it still boasts a range of 800 miles. The maneuverability of the plane allows it to fly low and slow, being able to effectively Damn, like target helicopter. enemies of all shapes and sizes and decimate them. Flown by one pilot, the plane is basically an armored tank that flies. While powerful, the A-10 Thunderbolt is painfully slow, typically cruising at around 365 knots painfully or about 420 slow. miles per hour. In relation, a typical commercial passenger jet flies at a speed down. of about 400 to 500 knots or 460 to 575 oh, miles per hour. However, wow. it usually flies most missions at around 300 knots or less, or around 345 miles per hour or less. Since the plane is not intended to compete with fighter jets like the F-35, speed is not its main purpose. The A-10 is a simple airplane made to be flown despite serious damage. A key feature oh. to increase survivability is the fact that its landing gear is only partly retractable. Half of each main wheel oh. protrudes from its fairing in flight, a feature instituted because it allows the wings to remain free of wheel wells, making construction simple, straightforward, and strong. So it, it also allows the aircraft to be landed in case of landing gear failure. The cockpit is also known as the titanium tub and is made with 3.8 centimeter thick titanium armor plating so that surrounds it, which is, is not forged but instead several plates of titanium bolted together. Jeez. The A-10 also has a huge bulletproof bubble canopy, which gives the pilot an all-around good vision and makes it easy for them to target. This makes the A-10 a powerful flying armored machine. In addition, the A-10's cockpit is equipped with a heads-up display targeting system, radio communication, and tactical air navigation system. It also carries 11 pylons for external loads, including extra fuel, rockets, and everything it needs to be a tank in the sky. However, the 30mm GAU-8 Avenger sky, rotary like cannon has become the A-10's best-known weapon. The 30mm GAU-8 is a hydraulically driven 7-barrel so rotary crazy. cannon invented to beat tanks and other armored vehicles. The Thunderbolt's 30mm gun is one of the most powerful aircraft cannons ever made and fires large armor-piercing shells. 
The armor-piercing rounds contain depleted uranium cores, which are extremely dense and thus have enormous impact power. The rounds are also self-sharpening, meaning the projectile doesn't flatten as it pierces armor but fractures and remains relatively pointed, causing maximum damage upon impact. The A-10's 30mm gun is fired in bursts of roughly 60 to 65 rounds Holy per second that obliterates Shiza. anything it hits. What? A popular myth is that the firing of the gun results in recoil so severe that it's impossible to stall the airplane. It is true that the gun's recoil Whoa. is indeed strong enough that had the GAU-8 been installed off-center, the resulting yaw would cause the firing pattern wow, of the gun to become erratic rather than precise. For this reason, the GAU-8 rotating barrel cannon is mounted exactly on the A-10 centerline, resulting in the plane's unique stance, with its nose gear strut mounted to ensure it clears the barrel. Dude, A-10 enthusiasts so argue that the Warthog is cheap to fly, is extremely survivable, and can put steel on target reliably. An A-10 can put ordnance as close as 20 feet away from ground troops without putting them in danger. Wow. The plane has electronic guidance and laser support. Its armament includes surface-to-air missiles as well as warheads of different kinds, including Sidewinder missiles, to take out enemy choppers. Enemy fighters that get past an A-10's enemy counter-air escorts or leakers may be surprised to find that the A-10 may not be easy prey after all in a dogfight. The big plane has a much tighter turning radius than most fighters, allowing really? it to outrun an enemy oh, and bring its nose toward target faster. At this point, it's all clear to fire away with sidewinders. Even its 30mm cannon has a much greater range than most fighters' 20mm cannons. What makes the A-10 Thunderbolt powerful? It's the non-afterburning turbofan engine supplied by General Electric that provide over 9,000 pounds of thrust. The location of these engines on the plane allows it to fly even if one engine has been completely oh, destroyed or shit. is not operating. The positioning also helps protect the engines from sucking up dust and debris when flying off improvised airfields. The A-10 Thunderbolt also has some of the best visibility to aid with both precision-guided and unguided munitions than any other plane in the United States military. It can do way more than any plane and it only needs one pilot to fly. In addition, the A-10 Thunderbolt has redundant primary structural sections, which makes it much more survivable than any other aircraft in any military's arsenal. That means that if it takes direct hits from armor-piercing and high-explosive projectiles, it'll still be able to fly. The Tank Buster I features see. redundant control systems on opposite sides I of the plane see. and self-healing fuel tanks that can automatically plug punctures. It's oh, basically I a tank it? that flies, and who wouldn't want that in the air? Well, well, the, the enemy. <laughs> the Warthog is a mission-capable machine that has changed modern warfare, saved countless lives, and become feared by the enemies of the U.S. The A-10 can achieve air superiority, Speed bomb isn't everything. anything, and provide Speed close air support for ground troops, making it a multi-mission aircraft that's almost totally invincible. So now you know pigs can fly, and that pig is <laughs> the A-10 Warthog. Fly. Now go check out why the F-22 oh, Raptor still awesome. reigns supreme, or click this other video instead. That was awesome, you guys. There it is, the A-10 Warthog or the A-10 Thunderbolt. I feel like I've learned about that aircraft before. I feel like I have. Some of the aspects of that aircraft was making me think back to a video that I've seen similar or an aircraft I've seen similar. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure. But, <laughs> all I can say is this plane is so badass. This is why I love these infographic videos that explain to all my questions that I had throughout the video like okay so the plane is extremely slow how come it doesn't get shot down it doesn't get shot down because the defense mechanisms of the aircraft is so insane like they said in the video it's like a tank in the sky dude wild and there's actually a reason why I guess the I don't know what you'd call them I don't know I'm not super the the thing at the front that's why it's in the middle because it's got too much power that if it went on the sides it would it would make the aircraft lopsided <laughs> it's so interesting so not only does it look badass to have that right out in the front with the by the mouth like that just looks so freaking badass i keep on saying badass but i just think that's the perfect word to describe this plane i feel but yeah it it, it looks it looks scary. It looks scary and it looks like it's there to destroy and 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 fight, you know? And that's it's intimidating, I feel. So I can understand why other countries would be intimidated by this aircraft. Um, not only by its look, but what it can do. Um, what it's capable of and how hard it is to kind of defend against a uh, warthog, I feel. So 
oh my gosh that was awesome i really really enjoyed that video thank you so much to everyone who sends through recommendations on my discord again if you want to join the discord you can join down below join the community thank you guys so much for watching today's video i really do appreciate it give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and i will see you all in my next video bye guys the store, control on the smoke They tell me to quit, don't understand why I don't talk They help me forget that this word is so cold I don't even know what I'm chasing no more Tell me what I want